Can you hear the click? The ignition coil is working, but the starter solenoid is not. So let's check out the operator safety switches. There's a switch under here, one under here, and this wire is for the seat, which I have jumped out because the seat is detached at the moment. Now this is the schematic for the Hustler SDX60 and as you can see when I would turn the key you could hear that the relay clicks right here. That means that coil is working but we still have a no start condition. Now you see the seat switch is wired in series. And when that works correctly, it'll hit pin 30. And when the relay coil engages, the contact switches over to pin 87 and it goes to the starter solenoid, which we're not getting. So we're going to have to debug this neutral switch series circuit. And once you have ignition, this coil will turn off then the contact to switch back to the pin 87A which will then put the seat switch into the circuit and bypass the neutral switches. And you can also see over here the clutch switch while it's in its off state we are using the neutral switches once it switches to on, those are taken out of circuit, which means that if you actually try to start the mower with the clutch on, you don't have this in your start circuit and it also will not start. Not related to the situation we have at the moment, I just thought I would throw that in there. Now to debug these, I like to use my fluke meter set to uh, ohms or continuity whichever you may like to call it. Well, because I run out of hands, I enlisted the help of these uh, alligator clips to pin onto the switch terminals. Left hand control switch works. So I went ahead and connected to the right hand control switch. And there's nothing wrong with these. So we have a wiring issue. And once I pulled this connector out, it actually became quite obvious. There it is. So I'm going to have to remove this entire plug and put on some blade terminals. I'll cut away a little bit of this uh, wire wrap and I think if I add my connectors to this wire I won't have to extend the wiring we'll see In my little terminal kit, I found that these blue female spades will fit perfectly. When plugging these terminals back up, it doesn't matter 
which terminal they actually go on. And the whole point is just to get continuity. That worked out well. I didn't have to extend the wires at all. Let's see if I fixed the no start condition. I still have my seat switch bypass at the moment, but the uh, parking brakes are back to proper connections. Well, that's working properly now. Got to button it back up.